So I just turned 39 this year and wow, have I learned a lot. I don't normally talk about my age kasi I stop counting na. But whenever I do, I was like, grabe, ang tanda ko na pala. Sobrang bilis ng panahon and we can't do anything about it. That's a reality. In my 39 years of existence, there are things that I wish I had known sooner. Today, my friend, is your lucky day because I am sharing with you 16 lessons and harsh truths about life that I've gathered in my late 30s. Number one is no one is coming to save you. Have you ever waited for some superhero to come and solve your problems? Maybe you're hoping na sana yung mentor mo or partner mo or kapamilya mo to come and fix your problem. The hard truth is everyone is dealing with their own issues. They have their own struggles to solve and no one is going to save you. The sooner you accept that the only person who can truly save you is yourself, the sooner you'll start taking control of your life. Sure, pwede kang mag-ask ng support or advice but remember, the ultimate responsibility is yours. You are your own hero. Number two, sacrifice is necessary. Have you ever noticed that everything worth having in life requires some kind of sacrifice? For example, your job. What sacrifices you did para makuha yung dream job mo? You work hard, studied hard. The same goes for parenting. Raising a child is joyful but it also means sleepless nights. Even a good relationship needs sacrifices. Like uunahin mo yung gusto ng partner mo kaysa sayo. I myself sacrificed my nursing career which I have worked work so hard for many years to have more time freedom. Embrace these sacrifices because they lead to the rewards you want. Number three is to build wealth by owning assets. Ever wondered how the rich get richer? Anong meron ang mga mayayaman na wala sa mga mahihirap? It's not just about earning a high salary. It's about owning assets that appreciate over time. Whether it's property, stocks, or a business. Focusing on assets rather than just income is key. For entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, this means building your business. For those in jobs, consider stock options or real estate investments. Think long term and accumulate ng mga assets that grow in value. Number four is health is the ultimate wealth. There is this very wealthy person lying in bed very sick. Alam mo sinabi niya? I will spend all my money just to get well. Without good health, everything else becomes useless. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, and sufficient sleep are fun fundamental. Huwag mong hintayin magkasakit ka bago mo alagaan ang sarili mo. Prioritize your health now. If you don't make time for your health, it will soon ask for time from you. Number five, don't stick with bad friends. I strongly believe in this saying, you are who you hang around with. You will become the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Now, let that sink in. Are you happy with your current friends? Do they inspire you? Motivate you? Because if not, better find new ones. Number six is embrace change. Change can be scary, but it's a normal part of life. Alam ko may mga tao na takot sa pagbabago. Kung ano ang nakasanayan nila, gusto nila yun na yun. Pero actually, accepting change can help you grow and find new opportunities. Whether it's switching careers, moving to a new place, or ending a relationship. Don't let fear stop you. Think of change as a chance to build a better future. Sabi nga ni Jim Rohn, if you don't like how things are, Change it. You're not a tree. 7. Lifelong learning. Do you believe that learning stops after graduation? Nope. That's not how it works. Mas marami akong natutunan after ko mag-graduate. Real life lessons are learned in real life situations and experiences. You must remain curious and open to new knowledge and skills throughout your life. Remember, the day you stop learning is the day you stop growing. Number 8. It's not always others' fault. When things go wrong, do you find yourself blaming others? Ganyan ako dati. When something wrong happens, I always find somebody else to blame. But when I started working on my personal development, I learned that taking accountability helps you improve and avoid repeating the same mistakes. Ask yourself how your actions contributed to the situation and what you can learn from it. Number 9. Try and fail rather than regret. Do you fear failure? May gustong gusto kang simulan na business pero natatakot kang malugi. 
it's better to try and fail than to live with the regret of not trying. Taking risks and pursuing your dreams, even if they don't always work out, leads to a more fulfilled life. Don't let the fear of failure hold you back from experiencing the life you've always wanted. Mistakes are part of success. And if there's one advice I would give about failure is fail fast and fail early. Number 10. Be the partner you want. In relationships, we usually have high expectations of our partners without reflecting on our own behavior. Gusto natin mabait, sweet, responsible. Pero naisip ba natin kung mabait, sweet, or responsible ba tayo? If you want kindness, be kind. If you want romance, be romantic. One thing I learned is we always attract what we are, not what we want. So if we want to attract partners who have those qualities we want, we should have those qualities ourselves first. 11. People don't think about you as much as you do. Are you constantly worried about what others think? Oh, I love this. The truth is, people don't care. People are more focused on their own lives. Free yourself from the worries and allow yourself to live more authentically. People quickly forget about you. This realization helped me so much on my YouTube journey. 12. There is no such thing as instant success. Success is the result of small, consistent actions over time. It usually takes years and years of hard work. Huwag kang mag-expect ng quick results. Walang ganon. Pag may narinig kang nagsabi sa'yo ng ganon, lumayo ka na dahil scam yon. There's no such thing as instant. Baka instant noodles meron pa. Whether you want a fit body or a successful YouTube channel, successful business or career, it's the compounding effect of daily efforts that leads to great outcomes. Stay patient and persistent. 13. The internet is forever. Before you post online, do you consider the long-term impact? Be mindful of what you share because it can have lasting consequences. Think twice before posting or harassing someone online. The internet has a long memory. So make sure that your digital footprint reflects who you truly are. Another great reason why I started YouTube is I wanted to share my life story, my experiences, hoping to inspire people and that they can learn from my own life lessons and mistakes. It will become part of my legacy. Number 14, Simple Solutions for Life Problems Many life problems can be solved by simple habits, regular exercise, a healthy diet, and adequate sleep. Those are the basics. Sa panahon ngayon, nagbabago na ang lifestyle natin. Lahat automatic na. Wala ng exercise, puro instant na ang kinakain, wala ng tulog, kaka-cellphone. Nakakalimutan natin yung mga basics. You will then start to notice life problems like health issues, hindi makafocus, or being ineffective. You go back to the basics and fix those things and you will be able to handle these life problems more easily. 15. Unexpected things happen. Kung hindi ka ready, talo ka. Dapat lagi tayong handa sa mga pagsubok sa buhay. Now, how can you be ready? Build emergency funds for unexpected expenses, be flexible, and stay strong mentally. If you prepare and stay positive, makakayanan mo lahat ng mga surprises na yan. 16. Wedding versus Marriage Are you more focused on the wedding day than the marriage? A wedding is a single day, but marriage is a lifelong commitment. Sabi nga nila, ba, na ang pag-aasawa ay di tulad ng mainit na kaning isusubo na iluluwa pag napaso. You have to make sure that you are prepared for this long-term partnership, not just the celebration. Our wedding is just a simple event that we arranged ourselves. Kami ang naghanap ng lugar, kami ang nag-decorate, kami naghanap ng catering service with the help of my in-laws. And now, we have been married for 10 years. Oh wow, it's been a decade already. And yet, we still feel like first day we met. I will tell you a secret. As much as possible, do things together. Me and my husband, we ride together, we drive our kids to their sports or school together, we exercise together, we go to massage, facial, or spa together, we eat together. Walang kakain pag wala ang isa. We decide on things together, even small things like kung saan kami magde-date next. If you're in your 30s or 40s and have more lessons that you've learned, please share them in the comments. I love to hear your thoughts and experiences. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. See you on the next one. Bye for now.